As security, security video storage moves to the cloud, businesses and consumers are being warned to improve their cyber defences. Recently, hackers accessed thousands of cameras to expose the extent of surveillance around the world. For more, we're joined by Image Matrix tech editor Juro Sen. Juro, good morning to you. So, so many cameras, but what hope have we got in terms of privacy? <laughs> Good morning to you, Tim and Janie. Great to be back with you again. Well, we haven't got too much hope in terms of keeping ourselves private because these cameras are now connected to the internet and then there's a flaw if someone's security isn't right. And so this recent hack which uh, took place, and these hackers believe they're doing the right thing by exposing the amount of surveillance cameras there are around the world. But, you know, as a US startup, Vicata um, has been in a little bit of a strife because uh, they were able to get access to one of the administration accounts and then they could see 150,000 cameras. This happening uh, in uh, about early March. And that included some cameras in Australia. Now, we're talking about things like Tim and Janie, uh, childcare centres, uh, aged care centres, uh, prisons, those sorts of things, really sensitive areas where these cameras can be exposed. And, uh, you know, this caused a lot of drama for people trying to track down what's this camera doing on the internet because uh, these hackers were able to go through this system right here, which is very clever. There's no doubt about it. It can can, it has AI, facial recognition, all that sort of stuff. So even though uh, these places are supposed to be private, once it goes on the internet and someone can hack into a business that controls all of your stored security vision, don't forget it's not like the old days where you just recorded it to a, a VHS tape and if something went wrong, the cops came in and, and took your tape. It all goes on the net and that means your security as a business needs to be really tight and it's a great reminder that uh, businesses have to work on that. What are your tips? What are the Duro Sen magician tech tips? Well, for the tips for, for people at home in particular is that uh, you need to make sure that your password and your username is absolutely tight. A long password, as we've talked about. This is the big weak point. Like, there are so many cameras in neighbourhoods now that uh, they will come in handy in helping fight crime, but there are going to be times where you don't want things to happen. You don't want your baby monitor going out the internet. Now, these IP cameras often come with very basic passwords. Admin as the username and password 1234. And Tim and Janie, we've talked about this all the time. You've got to change those straight away. And if you can't change those, get rid of the camera. And all those cheap knockoff cameras are not the ones to have. So you've got to make sure that Firstly, if you've got an IP camera, the camera itself, password itself, the password has to be tight. And also, if you have a service like with Google, Amazon or whatever, you've got to make sure that that password is really long, 40, 50 characters and, uh, and, and quite complicated, but something that at some point you can remember. I often use a phrase. You can do that because the longer the password, the tougher is it, it is to hack and you won't be a target. But there's like thousands of cameras that people think that are just private, that are on the net right now, you can look at them on several sites. What about things like CCTV where you have a USB and you record that? Does that go on the net though? Or aren't they a safer option? Yeah, so if you've recorded it locally, Janie, it's OK. But as soon as you upload it to a service or something like that, where it is on the net and you have to access, access it through a password, then you could be um, you know, accessed by uh, third parties that, uh, you know, want to expose it. And, you know, once they do, they can start tracking your movements. They can work out if you're not home. But if you record something locally, it's OK, unless someone comes into your computer remotely, which is very unlikely to get off your system. So uh, local recordings are OK, but it's lack of convenience. You can't share that data or the images around with other people. And that's why the other company sort of got in trouble, because it shared the information, it's able to share it easily. A good system, but only as good as your security and passwords. Microsoft Laptop 4, tell us more. Oh, how good is this? Now, 
this is the uh, laptop for here, and it's a pretty schmick sort of unit. And the thing is, it actually doesn't look much different to the laptop three, but I can tell you now, uh, Tim and Janie, that uh, it's a really good unit. Now, they've made key changes here, and pa the pandemic has had something to do with that, and that is that work from home has influenced some of the things they do. Firstly, the camera, even though it's still 720p, and I keep getting onto these manufacturers about that, they've enhanced the size of the pixel. So it's better in low light, it gives you a better image, and that means if you're doing your Zoom calls, whatever, it's going to look good. It also means that uh, if you uh, are listening to people, you're going to get better audio. The speakers go through the keyboard and bounce off the screen. Really cool technology. They've got a better microphone array too. So you know when people sit up close to the computer or further away, it balances it out. Out, so everything sounds the same. So when you those Teams calls, all those sorts of things, this is a really good unit. They come in and start around $1,600 Australian. Uh, but what I like about them is that it looks like the previous models, but I think they're very Apple-like. They're just making the iterations to make sure that they set the standard. And the wonderful thing is you don't have that bloatware. When you start using another PC, generally, guys, you have all sorts of ads for your virus protection and stuff like that. None of that on a Windows PC, and they're available this month. All right, and another strong entry has just arrived in the 5G market. Absolutely. Well, have a look at this. So we go back to the desk now, and this is uh, TCL. Now, TCL makes TVs as well as smartphones. Now, this thing here is a TCL 25G, and I've got to say, for 499 this is one hell of a camera, and they're all about the screen. Like I said, they make TVs, and the great thing about it is they've taken their TV technology and they've given it to the mobile phone screens, and it's absolutely phenomenal. I think for $4.99 now, this market, we've said a couple of weeks now, uh, for a couple of weeks, about this $500 5G market. It really is hiding up. So there are great choices out there. This screen, though, is, is really good. So your videos, all sorts of stuff are going to look good. 48 megapixel camera. Uh, the camera array is really good. The white balance, so your skin tones are absolutely brilliant. Also, share your music to four devices. I think that's brilliant. So if you're in the car, Tim and Janie, you can share your music or the kids could share their music and you don't have to listen to it. Oh, that's <laughs> going to upset me, listening to some of their music by themselves. Now... What about the GoPro, bro? The video editing app, it does it all for you. GoPro, bro, I know you love this one, Tim. Well, actually, you're involved in this in a little bit. So uh, just a little while ago, it wasn't uh, there wasn't much fanfare, but I managed to sit in on this. Now, they've got... GoPro have updated their app, and if you've ever had trouble editing hours of video, now you can use the GoPro app, which is the quick app, available for free on the App Store, and it will take your hours of vision. It doesn't have to be shot by a GoPro. That's the key, as you'll see in a moment. I shot some stuff at the SCG with Tim as we went to the Anzac Day clash between the Mighty Roosters and the Dragons, and it does it for you. Great effects. Uh, it just knows where the best parts are. Also adds music. It's royalty-free, so you don't have to worry about that with copyright infringement, and it just knows exactly what to do. Has slow-mo effects, as I said before, ramp. That's when something goes, slows down, and it does it nice and smoothly. All those professional effects, because if you're videoing the kids' soccer game, it might take uh, 40 minutes of stuff you don't want, and it just does a great job. And, Tim, I think you came up a million dollars. And, and it's a slight a um, fee. Oh, it's please. only a few dollars a month. Tell you what, you need the widescreen. You didn't capture that pie that landed on my <laughs> shirt either. Juro, it's always a treat. <laughs> Thanks, Juro.